The movie's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who was in charge of guns and ammunition on set, is also charged with involuntary manslaughter, while assistant director Dave Halls took a plea deal in the case. Baldwin was rehearsing a scene with the prop gun when it went off. He's also a producer of the film. And one big question in the case is how a live round was loaded into that gun. I want to bring in ABC's News Live anchor Lindsay Davis in Santa Fe for more on this. Lindsay, what are we learning? Uh, this is a, a major, uh, really significant uh, finding here. It, when you talk about uh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, for starters, she was just 24 years old. It was her second time serving as an armorer on a, a movie set. Um, and she has said all along through her attorney that this was simply Alec Baldwin's fault, point blank, that he pulled the trigger. Of course, you know, uh, in that now famous, uh, infamous interview that uh, Alec Baldwin did with George Stephanopoulos, he denied. He disputed uh, ever pulling the trigger. Uh, the FBI has now said that based on their findings that they have concluded uh, that the gun otherwise would not have fired. Now, in recent months, Alec Baldwin has filed uh, cases against or lawsuits against the crew, including uh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, saying that it was their fault that uh, that a live round should never have made its way onto the set. And so he has said really that that he has been a, a victim in all of this. Uh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed is also filing a suit uh, against the prop company, saying that they had given uh, live rounds in addition to the dummy. So lots of finger pointing here. But in the end, uh, the district attorney's office saying uh, that Hannah Gutierrez Reed and Alec Baldwin should face criminal charges all along that they had said this could be an accident or it could be criminal or it could be both, and now it seems that they're coming out, uh, rendering a decision uh, that it's both. As for his part, David Hulls, who is the associate director here, uh, who uh, witnesses say there's some discrepancy here, but Alec Baldwin says uh, that he actually handed him the gun and said it's a cold gun at the time, uh, meaning that uh, there were no live rounds in it. Uh, however, uh, there are witnesses who dispute that. Uh, but in the end, uh, just uh, shocking news for, for Alec Baldwin and Hannah Gutierrez Reed, Diane. Yeah, Lindsay, thank you. And I want to bring in ABC's chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, for more. Dan, you say this is the worst case scenario for Baldwin. Oh, no doubt about it. I mean, the prosecutors just threw the book at Alec Baldwin and Hannah Gutierrez Reed. I mean, they threw everything that they possibly could at both of them. In particular, when you talk about these involuntary manslaughter charges, typically in the state of New Mexico, the maximum punishment for involuntary manslaughter is up to 18 months. Well, they have added an enhancement on one of the charges, a firearm enhancement, which adds a potential mandatory penalty because a firearm was involved. The firearm enhancement makes the crime punishable by a mandatory five years. Now, a lot. this was discretionary, meaning prosecutors had to decide what they wanted to do here. And they have gone all out in determining that Alec Baldwin and Hannah Gutierrez-Reed are criminally responsible. I'll give you one more quote from them. They say the evidence clearly shows a pattern of criminal disregard for safety on the Rust film set. In New Mexico, there's no room for film sets that don't take our state's commitment to gun safety and public safety seriously. Now, let me add one other point here, which is the next step in this proceeding will be a preliminary hearing, which will be a kind of mini trial where a judge will determine, is there enough evidence to go to trial? Typically, uh, this is pretty pro forma. Um, in, in the vast majority of cases, uh, judges allow the case to move forward. This is one where I think you could see a pretty brutal fight by Alec Baldwin and Hannah Gutierrez-Reed saying that they don't think it reaches, as a matter of law, the level of criminality. Still a long shot for Alec Baldwin and Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, but that would be the next step in the proceeding. And I want to bring in ABC News senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky as well. Aaron, only one person died in this case, but both Baldwin and Gutierrez Reeves are east facing two counts of involuntary manslaughter. Can you walk us through that? They're two different forms of the, the same criminal charge, involuntary manslaughter, Diane, and they reflect what prosecutors say is a disregard for safety on the film set of Rust. And the prosecutors say that had Alec Baldwin or the others done their job, Alina Hutchins would be alive today, pure and simple. 
prosecutors, at least in this announcement of the charges that will formally be filed by the end of the month, do not answer the questions of what exactly happened, how did a live round get into the gun, but they say that had Alec Baldwin done his job, Helena Hutchins would be alive today. I I'm with Dan. I would expect in talking to Alec Baldwin's legal team that they will have a forceful reaction and that we expect a statement forthcoming and also a forceful fight uh, against these charges in court. And of course, we will continue to follow that all again. Again, actor Alec Baldwin, as well as the Rust film Armorer, are both now facing involuntary manslaughter charges in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins.